Okay, Sisters fans, what you just heard was from, I believe, last week's episode, um, or, or should I be more specific, the spaces that the writers did after last week's episode, going over some key details and answering fan questions. Also, uh, as always, just thank you to everybody who, uh, you know, takes a moment to send me the highlights because, you know, I'm way too busy to listen to the um, spaces because right after an episode, I do my own live stream, sometimes streams because I do um, YouTube and then sometimes Instagram. Then on top of that, I have other videos to work on. So these save me a lot of time. So thank you. But yeah, so um, Brian just turned out not to be the nice guy that he came across to be. Maybe a bit of a scammer. And Karen does not own. She is renting her salon from the woman we saw in the episode before last. Yeah, episode three. So that's pretty much it. And I did like what they said about, yeah, you know, we do know. And it did not tell y'all. Did not tell you. It's like, look, I know they threw a lot of stuff at us with the time jump, but all will be revealed in due time. Let them cook. Simple as that. But yeah, I do love their idea. Like maybe Tyler can let them write a book or something. Look, all I'm saying is this. You know me. I've always said like, man, I wish that Tyler would put like have and have nots or some of these other shows on home release DVD, Blu-ray and have like extra bonus features with, let's say, deleted scenes cast interviews maybe tyler himself just you know talking about you know the direction i wanted to take with this character or this storyline was this but for you know this that and the third reason i had to chop it up and decide to you know scrap that story in favor of doing something else so i would love for the new writers to have an opportunity to do something like that you know me if they had a book i would read it from front to cover and analyze every bit of it and talk about what could have been but, um, well, not even just what could have been, uh, just the fact that the three month time jump, I made the comparison before, like, um, da, 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 in the MCU, when Avengers Endgame jumped five years into the future after Thor killed Thanos, it's like, okay, a lot of stuff went down in that five year time jump. I want to see what happened. And in some of the future films and, and some of the D Disney plus shows, they kind of highlighted, you know, oh, this person was alive during the five years or this person came back after the blip. So it's like, what happened? Like, there's just so much stuff like Pepper and Tony getting married and having a kid or, you know, um, just the fact that we never saw Steve Rogers return the stones and whatnot. It's just little things like that to fill in the gaps. I would love to. Oh yeah. Yeah. The stone stuff didn't happen until after the blip, but whatever. But you know what I mean? There were a lot of things during that three month period. We really want to, you know, know, but I guess it wouldn't make sense to do any sort of book right away. Like wait until the season ends because I bet most of the questions we have will be answered in due time. And remember my theory that, yeah, maybe, you know, aside from the attention that Brian was, well, the attention Brian was giving Karen, and then that just got cut off immediately because he, like, ghosted her and just left her high and dry uh, with the construction job. That kind of led to her becoming more of a, you know, hermit towards the girls, not just because of her pregnancy, but, you know, all of her girls have boyfriends now and yet here she is just alone um the guy that was giving her attention is now gone and now she literally has to start us uh, it's almost like she has to start over from scratch after already starting from scratch because she was about to just you know get her old place fixed up and have a new start hence why the name of the new salon is fresh start yet when brian is you know just uh, gassing up her dreams about, hey, 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 you can own this building. I'm telling you, it's great. Um, but then he left in the middle of that project and another person came in and then it turns out things aren't exactly what they appear to be. And well, Karen got scammed. But then again, I'm not, well, believe it or not, I'm not trying to downplay or talk bad about Karen, but this just goes to show when it's too good to be true, it usually is. Karen should have been a smarter businesswoman by having someone like look over the contracts and whatnot. That way she could make show. 
when she signs these papers, she would indeed be buying the building. Other people said that, well, maybe Jeremy is one of those like rent to own things where she's paying on it. And once she's paid it off, then she owns it. That's a possibility, but we never had an explanation for it. But in this case, we know that Brian was a bit shady and now, well, Karen's found herself in this, honestly, a worse situation than had she just, you know, had her old place rebuilt. It sucks, but that's the way it is. So with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.